our third principle that you have is talking about learning to apply situational leadership that you addressed in your book. What does that mean? Well, situational leadership is a theory I started developing years ago and it's probably the most widely lead, used leadership uh, theory around the world. And I thought, wow, maybe I ought to start using it for myself because it says you not only need different strokes for different folks, but you need different strokes for the same folks on different parts of their job. So you might in your own job have four or five different responsibilities. You could be a self-directed achiever who gets can handle a delegating style in one area, but you might have new responsibility where you're an enthusiastic beginner and you better have some training and all that kind of thing. And so it's just a model I think that nobody has really kind of used in the whole fitness area to say if you're going to look at these six areas of health, what you need to do is analyze where are people. So for example, I was an enthusiastic beginner on weight training and balance because I had never done any of that. I never lifted weights and I didn't realize how important balance was, particularly as you get older. So I needed specific direction and close supervision. And all. I was a disillusioned learner, you know, when it came to aerobics and flexibility and weight control because I had tried different things and but always failed and also I needed rather than directing leadership stuff I needed coaching which is both direction and some tender loving care and so what it really is is you're trying to develop so people can understand how they can move from directing to coaching to supporting so eventually it becomes self-motivating for you because that's the way you maintain something 